There we go, we can add one of these on and we should be golden. All we again need is the terminal which would require the annihilation core which is Fluix Dust and a logic processor. We could make this, right? We have a printed logic circuit. How do we get the logic processor? Printed logic circuit, redstone, and silicon. Wait a second, isn't that what we're producing over here? We have 64 of these. Yoink! The last step now should be the, uh, what is it, what is it? The, the calculation processor, right? That, that should be the last thing we need. If we just grab the regular ME terminal, there we go. How do we get the calculation processor? It's redstone printed calculation circuit in there. There we go. We've only got logic circuits, so we need uh, to quickly switch out the template, I believe. Ooh, from the looks of it, I am, I am going to very quickly have to commandeer one of these. I'm going to have to replace the logic processor with an inscriber calculation press. And I need a pure Sirtis Quartz crystal, which can be gotten from Sirtis Quartz dust, which can be gotten from grinding down Sirtis Quartz. Got it. And obviously, the very last step here is the crafting table. So, all we have to do is get some wood. In fact, why don't we have any? Where are our planks? Where are our logs? Come on now, this should be easy. There we go. ME crafting terminal. Absolutely perfect. So all we have to do now is we go back down into the machine room and finally we don't have to keep running backwards and forwards between the upstairs and the downstairs. We, Whenever we need something, we can just use this. Although I think I might actually just make it stick out by one. Hang on a second. There we go. Now that we have the precision mechanism, we can use this to make ourselves the mechanical arm, which is... Uh, all we're missing is three brass sheets, and since we have all the brass we could want here, one, two, three, let's go flatten them and make me my arm. Brilliant. So, all I've got to do now is specify that when something outputs from here, it then puts it here. And then I can stick this here, and it's out of re uh, reach. God damn it. Where's my destruction catalyst? Where the hell did I put those gearboxes? So now, whenever this thing launches its product onto the conveyor belt, this arm puts it on here, which launches it into this slot here. However, the reason we don't have anything on this conveyor belt yet is because we never actually gave this thing a way out. We gave it a way to launch its product, but we never gave it a way to get the product from the thing onto the launcher. And to do that, all we need to do is give it a brass funnel. We may have encountered an issue here. Either way, we can follow this thing along, even though it only sent the one off, and we can watch as the mechanical hand picks up the processor. I don't remember what kind it is puts it on the center podium, and the center podium launches it into the shapeless crafting altar thing. There we go. So now that it's there, the mechanical hand is going to notice that it's there, our little scutter. It's going to take it and then place it onto the weighted ejector. The, uh, the scutters are a little slow. Don't hold it against them. Their mother smoked. And that should now launch up, and it missed. Okay. Why did it miss? You you have one job. You have one job, and you fucked it up. Well, that idea is... That idea doesn't work. Why are you the way that you are? What did I do wrong? Oh, piss off! If this doesn't work, we might end up having to go with the cyclic alternative. Just because if this doesn't work then I don't, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Yeah, that's just not working, is it? All right, let me think about this one. Okay, I think I figured out how I'm gonna do this. I am still gonna have to take it off the wall, but it's probably gonna be in a little better of a situation for us. So let's take this down. So what we've gotta do, I'm gonna have to basically give us access to the back of the mechanical crafter, which means I am, for the most part, kind of covering an area up here. Unless, of course, I want to put it by this wall, but no, because the, the thing's here. I'd have to move all of that, and that's, that's a pain in the ass. So if I do it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it lays out a little better. And just to quickly test, I'm pretty sure it can reach through the back of things, right? If I pick this thing up, what? Okay, so it'll let me select it there for some reason. But if I click on this and then put it here, it can still reach. So if I now take these, I put a series of brass funnels all along the back of this machine. There we go, they're all set to input, and then if I take the mechanical arm and shift right click all of these as deposits, and then shift right click and set this to take, 
one input, nine outputs. What I can then do is specify what goes in where. So if I look at the recipe for the 1K ME storage drive, I need charged Certus Quartz or regular Certus Quartz, Redstone, and the logic processor. So now what I have to do, I've got to take a logic processor, I've got to stick it in the filter for the back, and then if I throw it on here, eventually, when it comes around, the mechanical arm should pick it up and know to put it in the correct slot. Don't ask how it reached that. You don't want to know the answer. It's going to take a long ass time because, well, I mean, it's slow, but no, it should take that and put it in the correct slots in a minute. No. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Are you mentally deficient? Where are you where are you putting that? No, it does not go there, and I resent the idea that it does. Not only are you wrong, you're stupid. No, nope, that that's that's not where that goes. Ah, <sighs> okay, let's try this again. This needs to speed up now before I lose my goddamn mind. I refuse to wait here for 15 minutes just to watch you be wrong. No, you are so close. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? What are you are you are you are you dumb? Are you stupid? Where are you gonna put that? I know one place you can put it. No, you're wrong and you're stupid and I hate you. Is there a reason you're not working properly? You know, that's you I Q scores like this, I should call you Ruby. You can be Ruby 2.0. You can be his replacement while he's off doing whatever it is he's doing. There we go. You got that one right. Well done, you stupid pile of crap. I've got to make two more of you, haven't I? Okay, so I've made the last two mechanical arms that we needed. It was the most painstaking process of my life. But now we've got to decide how to use them because we know where we need to import things, but we don't know where we need to import them from. For example, the redstone, I could hijack the redstone highway up here. I could hijack the redstone highway if I wanted to. I could give it a depot to kick off on, but I just don't think that'd like work very well, to be honest. I'd need a splitter, and I don't know how to build a splitter with this U-shape setup. So the alternate option would be to have it grab it just straight from here, and since it's so slow, it'd, um, it wouldn't be able to take all of them, it, it, it'd have its own equal share. So if we do take items from belt, deposit them here, 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 and here, and then place it down, will it reach? No, it will not. Okay. Okay, it's looking like the next best option is going to be to include another method of retrieval for redstone, which we can use to pump uh, redstone into the crafting altar, as well as where it's already being pumped into. And uh, again, I think the best bet in this case would be to use a brass uh, funnel, one of these, brass tunnel. But I'm not entirely sure how they work, so I've been putting off using them. But I think in this instance, it's probably going to be our best bet. So if we just type in brass and get ourselves a brass tunnel, what are we missing? The electron tube, which is polished rose quartz. Okay. Give me the electron tube. There we go. Now that we've got the electron tube, we can make ourselves the brass funnel, like so. Give, thank you. And if we dob that funnel on, uh, if we put it on here, and then we create an opening on this side, we should be able to get it to filter out. And as far as I'm aware, it's programmed to do an even split. So let's just... <laughs> Let's figure out how far we can take this thing. Yeah, belt one to belt two, and that creates as an opening. And what I can do if I go over to this is I can look at the top. Here we go. Uh, it's kind of small text. When multiple outputs available, split, forced split, round robin, forced round robin, prefer nearest, randomize, synchronize inputs. We've got to set this to forced split. So it's always going to split one that way, one that way. And this is good because this allows us to take this mechanical belt, stick it onto this I've laid that out wrong, haven't I? Fuck's sake. That allows us to put one here, one here, and then we can put another depot at the end. All we've got to do now is make a way to power this thing. We might be able to get away with just plugging it in here. Yeah, there we go. So now, I'm not sure why that's not going that way. I think it's because it, it still needs uh, time to split things. What is it waiting on over here? What is this one waiting on? This is waiting on the gold, right? 
There's not enough gold in the system, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this thing is very slow for some reason. Then what we can do is we can grab ourselves the second one of these. We can set this thing to take and then place in the corners like so. Plop you down there. And then all we need is the crystals, which... I really should have put those the other way around since the thing is there. Yeah, let's swap them around. There we go. It's picking the redstone up like a good little boy. Let's make sure it puts it in the right spots. Bit of a weird way of going around, but you did it. Well done. Sorry, I'm eating. Oi, where the hell do you think you're going? Why are you even moving? Either way, we know it works, which is brilliant. Now all we've got to do is set up stage three, which is the crystals. Now the crystals are probably going to be the hardest part because there's no way of reliably farming them yet. That'll probably come in the next session, I'm going to be honest. But for now, what I'm going to do, just because we do have... I did not mean to do that. Why would you do that? <clears throat> As I was saying, because we do have quite an abundance of crystals, charged though they may be, what we can do just temporarily is... We're, and we're actually going to replace this depot with a netherite chest just for the storage space because I don't want to lose anything. And by netherite chest, I mean netherite barrel. Shut up, I totally got the name right. We're going to grab ourselves the last mechanical arm. We're going to select this as an input, select these as outputs, plop it down, and it's out of reach. I hate being alive. And we're gonna watch the universe work its magic. Watch this little scutter slowly turn to pick up its treasure from below. Yoink. And once it gets plopped into the machine, if everything's working, it should deposit itself as a finished processor in that barrel. Here we go, final square. Let's see what it's got up its sleeve. And it's moving. It's moving and moving. It's moving and moving and moving and it's moving. It's moving. There we go. We have ourselves the processor. And it's in the barrel. We have successfully automated the creation of the 1K ME storage component. Now, the plan was for today's session to automate the 16 million. However, I've been here for five hours. I, I've been here for five hours and I've only gotten the first step. If I were to do this all in one sitting, I would be dead. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call an end to this session here. Because I don't know about you, but I am feeling very accomplished right now. So while yes, the system isn't entirely complete, especially because of that little niggle over there, I do have a fix for that. I'm going to do it off camera because it's very simple. It's just moving the launch pad back a bit by indenting into the wall. I didn't really want to indent into the, into the wall if I could help it, but it, it, it's probably the only option at this point. So um, that's that's what I'm doing. But yes, if you did like today's episode of Starsick, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to mention something about uh, how big a brain I am, then uh, make sure to leave that down in the comments below. And um, if you have uh, just enjoyed this experience in general, if you, if, you, if you really want to experience all of this again for the rest of your life, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you later, shitlords. Bye-bye!